Dermaclip, the non-invasive skin closure device, an instructional video. The main components of the Dermaclip device are two adhesive pads that adhere to the skin and a plastic locking mechanism with pull tabs that closes the wound. Within the locking mechanism, each side of the device has an angled face. When the device is pulled closed, these faces push against each other, an action that lifts the wound edges, activates the living hinge, and promotes aversion. To engage the lock, the tabs are pulled smoothly in opposing directions until a solid click is heard and felt. When locked properly, the angled faces will be pressing firmly against each other in a near vertical position, as shown in the picture. Be careful. Novices with the device sometimes believe they have felt the click before the device is actually locked. To validate that the device is locked properly, give the tabs an additional solid but smooth pull and check to make sure that the faces are pressed firmly against each other in a near vertical position. Here is a video showing the application process for Dermaclip. More information can be found in the instructions for use available on the Dermaclip website. Before applying the device, clean the wound area of all dirt and oils, remove all excess hair, and dry the area to ensure a good bond with the skin. To apply Dermaclip, grab the device by the pull tabs to avoid touching the adhesive pads. Then manually approximate the wound edges and apply the device with the locking mechanism lined up with the center of the wound. If multiple Dermaclip devices are needed, space them 1 to 4 millimeters apart. Once all devices have been placed, manually smooth the adhesive pads against the skin to ensure a good bond. While the initial bond is strong enough to close the wound, the device will continue to improve its bond with the skin during the first 20 minutes it's on the body. Advise the patient not to test or pick at the device during this time. To lock the devices, grip the tabs near the center of the device and use the gripping teeth. Pull the tabs in opposing directions in an out and down manner until the click is felt and heard. It is important to pull the tabs in an out and down direction as pulling up can start to pull the device off of the skin. Additionally, for those unfamiliar with the device, double check that the lock is fully engaged by giving an extra solid but smooth pull and check that the angled faces are in a near vertical position. It is recommended that first time users test a few devices to ensure they are comfortable with the locking action before using on any patient. Once all of the devices are closed, it is recommended that the excess tabs be cut off for patient comfort. Medication can be applied once the devices are firmly on the skin. Additionally, it is advised to cover the closed wound site according to your general standards for recently closed wounds. In removing the device, peel, don't pull. The device should be peeled from one side of the closed wound to the other so as to carefully remove it from the skin. Never remove the device by pulling as damage to the healed wound may result. For full instructions and precautions, please see the instructions for use that are available on the Dermaclip website and are included with every order.